What's going on guys, Nizion here, bringing you another PlayStation video on the channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can activate and deactivate your account as primary. But before we get started with today's video, if you guys aren't new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and turn on notification to keep updated with all the quality gaming content under 10 minutes. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with today's video. Now a lot of people have been talking about in my previous videos uh, about obviously account sharing as well as if you want to add multiple accounts and bring games from your PlayStation 4 to your PlayStation 5 for example and a lot of people have been having issues with that and I want to just clarify on how you guys can uh, actually activate and deactivate your console's account as primary now as you can see right here I'm on my PlayStation 5 now if I go under settings and then I go down to users and accounts and then down to I believe it's called other now once you're under other you can see that there's uh, multiple options here which you want to click on is console sharing and offline play if you are on ps5 make sure that it is enabled so if you dis disable it it means that you don't uh, want the other users on the same console to access your games so just leave it as it is default it should be enabled from there and that's what fixes most of the lock issues and etc and also some game licenses and add-on licenses uh, that you have problems with in uh, or on your playstation similarly on the playstation 4 uh, what you'll have to do is go under account management settings and then you'll see the activate as primary option and you'll see two different options through that either activate or deactivate as primary if it's activated you don't, you don't need to do anything and if it's deactivated it means you're sharing the account with multiple other uh, consoles or users so just keep that in mind but that's only for the game sharing side of things now say for example it doesn't let you deactivate or activate it again now moving back to my pc right here you can see on the screen i'm actually signed in through my Sony account on the account management website. You literally need to Google it. I'll have a link down below in the description if you wanna find the link for yourself. And you wanna go under the device management option under here and you'll see your PlayStation consoles. Now, once you click under there, you can see the name of them and it'll say this button right here, deactivate all devices. Now, unfortunately, you can only do this once every six months. So make sure that you do this and that you change your password after if you don't want anyone accessing your account or et cetera. So just Make sure once you do this and deactivating all devices, you'll have to reactivate the devices and that should fix the majority of the issues that you're facing with your games, them being locked, etc. And then you can just go back onto your console and then sign in and then you'll have all of access back into your games. And if that doesn't work, I always recommend to just go down back into the same setting here under other and you can just restore your licenses. This works the same if you're on PlayStation or if you uh, play PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 so just keep that in mind and hopefully this video has helped you guys out a little bit more into activating or deactivating or just adding console sharing as an option onto your account but that's been for today's video if you guys have any other questions comments or concerns please be sure to leave it in the comment section down below I'll try my best to answer every single question down there it's been a bonus I'll be catching you guys all in my next video peace out